Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet a very informative video. Because in today's video we are going to be talking all about the Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally. Now based on the normal Multistrada V4, they actually came out with this Rally Edition. And that is a kick in the face to the BMW GS Adventure. Now the base price of the V4 Rally is actually 27,890 euros. A couple of you guys are probably thinking like, dude, that is absolutely not worth it. Watching this video from the toilet on your phone. But hear me out and let me know by the end of the video if it's actually worth that kind of money. Now for the V4 Rally, they actually tweaked the engine to produce 170 horsepower and 121 newton meters of torque. Now with 170 horsepower, I do have to say, it pulls wheelies really good. <laughs> That's a lot of horsepower. This thing really rips. Now with an average of 6.5 liters on 100 kilometers and a big ass 30 liter gas tank, you're looking at about 400 kilometers of Ducatista pleasure. And many battery. Espiritu Sancti. Now these V4 engines are a little bit on the thirsty side and that's why Ducati came up with a good solution. If you're cruising on low speed, the rear cylinders just shut off. And if you stop at the traffic light, it also shuts off. Better fuel economy, lower emissions, and it's not cooking your balls when you're standing in front of the traffic light. 15,000 kilometer service intervals, and it's got a 60,000 kilometer valve clearance adjustment interval. That's good for that wallet. Now enough about the engine specs. Let's start it up and rev the crap out of it, because we got a Ducati Performance Akrapovic. Now, fun fact, if you're standing next to the bike, you can actually hear the air intake louder as the Akrapovic. Yeah, Akrapovic is really pushing out the last couple of years. Now, when it comes to wind on the highway or at higher speeds, it is zero to none. With the hand guards, there's nothing on your hands, almost nothing on your arms. And with the windshield that you can actually pop up, yeah, I'm totally covered. I like it more like this. Now the dry weight of the Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally, as said on the Ducati website, is 227 kilograms. As if you can actually ride a motorcycle dry without oil, lube or cooling water. Makes no sense. So after doing some Ducatista math, I actually came up with 261.3 kilograms total weight. Fully gassed up, oil in the engine, cooling liquid into the radiator and some lube on the chain. Now I know that it doesn't really sound that good if you put on your website that you have a 260 kilogram motorcycle that can do off-road. Unless you have to pick it up from the ground, you're not gonna notice it's 260 kilograms. Now let's talk about the ride modes that this Ducati has and the 4 to 500 settings you can actually set. This thing is a goddamn computer. So when we go into our riding modes with a simple press on the mode button on the handlebar, we have a touring, enduro, urban and a sport. Now you might be thinking, hey Smokey, well, you only got like four different riding modes. What are you talking about? Like four or 500 different settings? Well, if we go into the settings menu, and now this is where it gets really crazy, we can actually choose our riding modes. Let's for example, take the sport mode and we can set every single parameter for that mode. So you can actually set the ABS. We can actually set the ABS to road, off-road, safe, stable, performance, whatever, in different settings from one to three. Then we can go back into the DWC, which means the Ducati wheelie control. You can actually set how high you actually wanna pull wheelies. So that is also a lot of settings. Now we have the EBC, the engine brake. I'm not really sure what the C stands for, but I mean engine brake, that is pretty obvious. And over here we can also set it in the three different modes. So we can have the minimum brake or the maximum brake for that little bit of more of a sporty feeling. Then we got the DQS, that is the Ducati quick shifter. You can turn it on and off. Into the suspension we go and into the suspension you can also set the front and rear as you wish in also a lot of different modes. You see that? 
So yeah, that is kind of crazy. Now, of course, you can do it for the front and the rear. So the uh, so the amount of settings that you can actually do is already counting up pretty fast. We can actually set the preload to, of course, uh, riders with a passenger or not. Go back into that. This is just for one single mode. So we can also uh, set everything back to default as this and everything will be restored. We had the preload, we had the power, so you can actually set it to how much power you want. You want red power, you want full power, smooth, dynamic. You can also set all these things, you want to set it to off-road. The off-road enduro mode has 115 horsepower. Then you have the Ducati traction control, you can go in there. Yeah, uh, do some more settings over here. Uh, go to the ABS, and then the ABS. One eternity later. Now, do you see what I mean with a lot of settings? Now, this is fun because once you have set up all of your riding modes, they will actually stay in that. So if you want to do wheelies, just put it into sport mode, go to the settings and set it one time in your life that sport mode does not have Ducati wheelie control. Now that we're talking about this beautiful six and a half inch display, also I have to say, of course, you can connect it to your phone and use the navigation on your phone to actually get it on this screen. Need like the Sigic app and the Ducati Connect app has to be open at all times. I just installed it and my phone was already blazing hot. Now when it comes to safety features, the Ducati has a lot and that is probably why the price is a little bit steep. But some of these safety features I really like. Now every motorcycle rider of course knows that a little bit to the left is or to the right is a little bit of a dead spot, a blind spot as well. So yeah, this light actually goes on if the bike detects a car or another motorcycle into your blind spot. That is nice. And as standard, it also has adaptive cruise control with radars in the front and in the back. Now we do have a lot more electronics going on on this Ducati, not only for safety, but also for comfort. We get the fully adjustable and automatic skyhook suspension, adjustable wheelie control, adjustable traction control, adaptive cruise control, like I just said, blind spot detection, cornering ABS, adjustable ABS, hill hold assist, and probably some more stuff, but I do not have enough fingers. Oh yeah, it's got cornering lights. So before you ride into that dark alley, getting robbed, that light is going to see that thief before you do. As for the wheels, we have 17 inch in the back and 19 inch in the front. We also got 330 millimeter dual Brembo brakes with four piston claws. And in the back, we got the 260 millimeter Brembo. Can't go without a good Brembo. Yeah, I did some off-roading yesterday, so I'm really should have cleaned it before I did this video, but you know. <laughs> also good to know that these are brand new designed spoke wheels and they are 3.5 kilograms lighter as the previous models. Now a little cool fact that you probably did not know. You see this wind deflectors right here? See that? So there's a lot of cold air coming through into your leg, which is absolutely perfect. But in winter time, you just close it up. See that? That is nice. Now I do have to say these wind deflectors are pretty awesome, but they're made of plastic. And this is some freshly brushed aluminium. I suggest you get some crash protection. Now, when it comes to the Ducati Skyhook suspension, you get 200 millimeters of suspension travel in the front and in the rear, but it also adjusts automatically to keep you as comfortable as possible. And it also got a couple of pretty cool features. When you're riding slow or stopping at a traffic light or getting off and on of the motorcycle, the bike can actually lower itself by adjusting the preload into the suspension to a minimum. So the bike actually drops like two or three centimeters. It's like freaking air ride. That's nice. Now that we do have it off our center stand, well, let's talk about seat height. I am one meter and 76 centimeters, and yeah, I can just touch it with my, a good toe, a good toe. Now it's at the lowest standard setting of 870 millimeters, and you can raise the seat as standard to 890. Now you do have a lot of options. Now Ducati does provide a lot of options when it comes to hiring or lowering your motorcycle to get easier on and off, not only by adjusting automatically its preload to a minimum and dropping the motorcycle, but also with lowered seats, higher seats and a suspension kit. So you can actually go from 805 millimeters low to 905. That's for like giants or something, I, and I don't know, but. This is, that is one god dang heavy center stand, sheesh. And the Italian Stallion also got 235 millimeters of ground clearance. Just in case if you want to go jump some logs. Now when you go touring or adventuring with this motorcycle, you do need some luggage. Now as standard, you only get this little box over here. 
that is that one and this thing is very very deep it does perfectly fit my iphone 14 pro but if i want to charge it it also has got this this usb socket over there and if i want to pull put like a cable in it i i have to bend my fingers in like this odd shape just to get the cable in that's a little bit a little bit weird so when i got my little cable over here it's probably not going to close fully yeah and if you drop one of your earplugs down there yeah it's probably lost forever So when I finally get my iPhone 14 Pro in there, all the way up there, yeah. Now the Ducati has keyless go, so you can actually put this fob wherever you want. Unless you have to go for fuel, because you're gonna need the key for that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I, oh. Oh lord. Just like that. You can also just get the electronic one. It's like 260 euros extra option. So you don't need the key for that. You can leave it in your pocket. Kind of cool though. The standing up position when doing some off-roading is also very perfect. But if you're sitting down, you can actually touch the brake a lot better for if you're standing up. If you're standing up, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work that good anymore. But however, Ducati has put this little brake in. They can actually just pull it and twist it up. So it's better for standing up. You just pull it, twist it, you can go back on the road. Now that is nice. And of course you also got the rubber flaps on the foot pegs. You can just pull them out just like that. Yeah, if you want to do some more off-roading, that goes up. This is a lot better. Do not hit your shins on this. I know. Now when it comes to colors, you have two options. You have this brushed aluminium silver on the sides as well with a little bit of red hair and a little bit of matte black and you also got the more red option now this is a more expensive one and it will set you back another 500 euros but i do like that brushed aluminium that is nice it also got a little hole in the front and i'm not really sure what it is let me know in the comments what it is because i have no idea is that something to hook up your tv or something what the hell is that now, when it comes to riding experience on the Multiswara V4 Rally this week, I have to say it is really, really addictive to ride. It pops easy wheelies, you can take it off-road, you can take it traveling, you can take it to the other side of the world. It is very comfortable. The sky suspension does everything it needs to do. The brakes are absolutely perfect. The engine sounds like a blast. So god dang it. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love this motorcycle. But how good is it compared to my KDM 1290 Super Tranger R? Stay tuned for the next video, because there's a comparison coming up between those two monsters. Now let me know in the comments if you like it or not. The weather is way too good. So uh, yeah, I'm going for another ride. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see my latest video, it is right over here. If you want to see my most favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done over here. And if you want to become a full-time YouTuber, as you can see by my play buttons yourself, go to smokytube.com. And over there, I have the perfect all-in-one how-to YouTube course.